welcome back to the Yarny Cave. My name is Brenda, the newbie crocheter, and this is my cave. Or so my husband says, that's where I hang out all the time, watching videos, uh, working on my crafts, and uh, so welcome in. For those of you who are coming back, thank you for being part of my family, and for those of you who are new, thank you, thank you, thank you for jumping on board and taking the ride with us. I truly appreciate it. You all mean the world to me. And I do this because of you. So I have a lot of things to cover with you today. And um, it's been a crazy weekend um, and week so far. Um, I also work from home, so I've been having some connectivity issues with my work computer. So that has been a challenge. So that has been uh, keeping me really busy. Um, but this past weekend has been all about polymer clay hooks. Um, uh, we've had many orders come in for hooks and we have been very busy. Um, plus in addition to that, we have that awesome giveaway going on, which is three gifts and each gift, each, blah, 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 each gift gets a custom hook. So I have to make hooks for those giveaways. So on top of making those, I had some orders and I've been really, really busy this weekend. So. But there's also some things I want to show you. So um, let's start first with those of you who have mentioned about uh, blocking boards. Um, I we sold out of all the large 12 by 12 blocking boards. For those of you who got them, thank you so much for your orders. I hope you like them, um, and I hope that you put them to good use. We still have just one left of the large subscribe sign, which is $40, and that is shipped in the U.S. You just have to email me, let me know if you're interested in it, um, and uh, tell me whether you want a, uh, a stand in the back or if you want hooks to put on, a, on the wall. So we only have one of those left. And we still have the small 9x9 um, blocking boards. We have the lighter um oak and then we have two of the darker oak oh and two of the darker oak still available they do have little feet in the back so that it doesn't scratch the tables or whatever it is wherever it is you put them on so um those are available so once again just shoot me an email my email is brenda the newbie crochet at gmail.com and i can go ahead and help you with that um and put you on pause one moment okay Sorry. Um, okay, now that we're done with that. Uh, hooks. Guys, I made all these extra hooks for giveaways. So three of these will go in, in the giveaway that I currently have. And then another one extra for just in case. Uh, you guys know I usually um, do giveaways at every 100 threshold. Um, Thanks for so many shout outs and uh, the support of so many other channels helping me out. Um, we have grown so quickly. We are going to do another giveaway when we reach 1500. And then again when we reach um, 2000. So, and the giveaways are going to be a little bit bigger. Either that I'm thinking either a little bit bigger or I'll try to do multiple giveaways within each giveaway. So I'm still kind of debating. I know you guys... Um, um, enjoy my hooks that's what I've heard thus far and I think it's kind of nice to give more opportunity instead of doing one big giveaway give more opportunity to more people to win something um, I also received an order for um, three hooks I'm not gonna say who ordered them but I decided you guys know that I normally pack up my hooks in these little burlap sacks so I was wondering um, so how do I do this? This person wanted three. So this is what I did. And you tell me your thoughts. Well, I usually wrap it with my card and, and a bow. So what I did is I created a burlap with three sections. And then just wrap, wrap them up. And then I tied it close with my little card and the little burlap string. Tell me, give me your thoughts. Do you like that? Do you think I should put each one in a separate little pouch? Or do you think that... Doing it this way um, is a good idea. Give me your feedback. 
I kind of like it all wrapped up together, but I want to know what you guys think. I also have, give me a second. I also have somebody who ordered a set of five guys. And so I made a really large um, uh, sack to put them in. There, there's five slots in here. I can't put them in there yet because the hooks are still wet. I've done one of the um, the second to last finish on them, but I will show you what they look like. This person wanted a specific set of hooks and then she wanted the polymer clay to match the color of the hook. So um, it's beautiful. I love it. I hope she loves it. And um, I'm going to show you, but I have to be very careful because I just uh, did one of the finishes and I don't want them to fall. Even though I, it dries pretty quickly, I just don't want them to, uh, to fall. So see if I can do this. What do you guys think? So set of five, it has a, uh, from small, uh, it's got a G, it's got an H, it's got a J, it's got an I and a K hook. And there's five. You see the yellow one in there? There you go. See the yellow? It's got green, yellow, pink, purple, and blue. It's an entire set of a specific brand. And um, I really hope this person really enjoys this set. I love it. I love it. And let me put it down. I don't want them to tip over. I like to let it sit overnight, 24 hours between, between layers of finish. So um, they're going to dry today. Tomorrow I'm going to do another layer. And then hopefully, what's today, um, Tuesday, hopefully by Thursday, I will put them in the mail and send them out. The others have gone through the process. This is already all done. I worked on these on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and um, packed them up this morning. So these are ready to go. Um, so yeah. So are you, are you wondering about my top again? Oh God, you guys know how I am obsessed with this top. This is Triple C Dana's Crochets. It's called the Prosperity uh, Crop Tee. I will link the Rivalry Pattern uh, link in the description box. Also, if you guys are interested in, in the polymer clay hooks, just shoot me an email once again. My email is brendathenewbiecrocheter at gmail.com. They do cost $20 each. That does include shipping. If you order multiples in one order, then I um, I make a special, I give you a little bit of a break on the price. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, just shoot me an email and just let me know if you're interested. What is on my hook, you ask? Well, you know what's on my hook? It's the light and airy cover-up by ours truly Dana triple C creatively created crochet she's got this new pattern in rivalry and of course since I'm obsessed with her patterns all that look like this because I'm in Florida it's hot I love these airy uh, patterns that I can put my tank top underneath which is really what I wear most of the time but it's nice because it's give me, it gives you a little bit of a cover-up and I love it this is called the light and airy cover-up by Creatively Created Crochet, Ardena. This is her beautiful photo. And you can find this also on Ravelry. I will go ahead and attach and put the link below as well for you to reference to. And I'll show you where I'm at so far. Um, I have posted a picture on my Instagram of uh, a bag of day um, uh, lacy poncho that I did. And for that, I used a Havana cake, which I don't have anymore because it's, um, I used it up. But it goes, the Havana cake went from blues, uh, yellows, purples, greens, and it just, it just really changed colors. And I was using two strings together, two cakes together, because the yarn is very light. So I only went through half of the, half of the cake. 
with it so I decided to do my girl Dana's um, pattern with the rest of the cake so this is where I'm at so far now granted I ran out of the cake uh, towards the bottom however I am blending in another yarn that is almost identical and doing my own uh, changing in colors so I will explain a little bit um, well here let me see if I can explain so even though the cakes were identical the ones that I used um, and I used them from the beginning to end with the with the other project and then continue with this one for some reason one cake ended up much quicker than the other which actually worked to my benefit because then what I did is I attached this color to the yarn that I ran out first after I ran out of the other one I attached the same color so it helped to kind of shift the colors gradually to that blue so once again because now there's less here than here once I run out of this I'm going to connect it with this one which is purple and then keep running it until I run out of the other one and then connect the purple and then just finish it off with those colors if I have to I'm still in the blue I still have a little bit to go with this blue so we'll see how far it goes but I love it thus far I'm gonna take this with me uh, we're going camping in March and I cannot wait because this bad boy is going with me to the beach and it'll be like a little cover up uh, in the afternoons when the sun's going down and maybe your bathing suit is no longer warm enough to keep you um, um, well not warm enough but as the sun goes down it gets a little bit cool maybe not too cold but you want a little cover up over your bathing suit this is what I'm gonna do this is what I'm gonna be wearing so I'm so excited Dana once again you're knocked out of the park with this with this pattern and I just can't wait to use it so Dana kudos to you again let me put this aside I'm not done with it I hope that I'll be done with it tonight or tomorrow my instructions okay now guys I want to show you something that I had made I ordered it actually last year I bought the material and I sent it off um, I watch um, on the hook and uh, she mentions uh, Joe for totes and I just fell in love with Joe's uh, workmanship and just her artistic abilities with her totes and I reached out to her and um, told her that I would was interested in purchasing a tote from her she explained that because she does it by hand and it does take time that I would not be able to get mine done till 2021 now granted I reached out to her I think it may have been in either August uh, or July of 2020 and I told her totally understand and there's no there's no rush um, I mean when you're doing things by hand you can't rush the process um, and it's all also on how you feel there's moments that you you may be feeling sick so it does you know it, you have to take that into consideration um, she told me send me the information um, I asked her about uh, um, fabric she told me what she had and I was kind of like mm, that's not quite up my alley however I asked her can I purchase the fabric and send it to you she said absolutely this is how much I need and I said perfect so I went shopping for for fabric and I picked up some fabric that I thought were right up my alley that that kind of speak volumes about who I am and um, and I sent them to her so um, a few about a month ago we reached out and uh, she said that she's ready to work on my bag I asked her for something a little bit larger than the norm okay why so large you ask well if you guys have watched me uh, you know that my husband and I go camping quite often and I wanted this bag to be my travel bag when I go camping so it's gonna be not only where I store my clothes and my things that I'm gonna take camping but it's also going to bag 
my yarn and my goodies and that way I can keep everything in one big bag. I do have a camping tote that I can still use for other things but this is going to be for my clothes and my and my crochet and my um, my projects. You want to see it? I am so excited. Joe. if you're watching this, I am going to, um, which I hope you are, um, I love my bag. I cannot tell you how much I love my bag. And uh, guys, if you guys are interested, um, I'm not going to give prices because it varies by what you order. But I will link her email below. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. Um, but you can reach out to her by way of email and let her know that you're interested and then she'll send you the information that you need in order to place an order. Are you ready? Okay guys. I may have to stand back for this because it is quite big. This is my camping tote. What do you guys think? I'm going to bring it closer. It's got this beautiful medallion here and it has a, a button so you can close it. It's a magnetic button which is great and it's a great size for like putting this kind of stuff. <laughs> My patterns and other things. Look at my little campers. Look at this beautiful pink yarn that has got a bunch of arrows going this way and every way, which is usually what happens when you're camping. You're going each way and every way. Look at this beautiful striped yarn that she lined it with. Uh, yarn, listen to me, fabric that she lined it with. I sent her the yarn she picked how she was going to use it, so it's fabulous. Then she made the side pockets here, which are perfect, is perfect for either yarn, um, a cell phone if you want it uh, handy, uh, but for me it's probably going to be more about the yarn. It's completely open, doesn't zip or anything, so which is perfect, which is easy access. She puts a little key fob in here, whoops, a little key fob in here and she puts some stitch markers. Let's see if I can show you. She's got a back, and this is all you request exactly how you want your bag. Okay, a bag plastic um, zipper, which is great because that way you can put all your little gadgets, your crochet gadgets, and you see exactly what you have. And on the other side, there's two pockets which you can put cell phone. You can put anything you want and then some uh, little um, additional pockets here for hooks. Okay, ain't that awesome? And then she put the base to keep it nice and sturdy. It's, um, you can either have it this way or this way and put it in the base of your bag and it's nice and sturdy. How big that is and then the back once again it's got the the little campers and then the base is black which is perfect oh sorry so this is my back at the handles let's see if you can get this you see the colorful little loops that she put on there I love that and it's both inside and in the outside Beautiful. Joanne, Joan, Joe, didn't mean to call you Joanne, Joe. This is fabulous. I love it. I cannot thank you enough. If anybody's interested, I will put her email link below so that you can check her out. So, um, I reached out to her before I received it and I said, you know, if you have any additional fabric, could you make me a little project back? She said, actually, I'm I'm almost done with your bag. I'm glad you reached out because I was almost done. So she says, yes, I do have some extra fabric and I'll make you some, uh, an additional, um, an additional, uh, project bag. So she made me this little bad boy, which is fabulous. It's lined once again with the stripe and it also has the pink with all the arrows going every which way. 
and of course a little campers with drawstrings. I love it. Joe, you really outdid outdid yourself. Um, well, I don't know about outdoing yourself because you're so talented, but it exceeded all my expectations and I am over the moon with it. My husband and I are going to the beach uh, March 14th, camping on the beach, actually beachfront. Uh, it's the first time we go to this campsite. I'm really excited. We're going for three days and I will be taking my bag with me with my little project bag and two of my little projects to um, to work on, which I believe is going to be another one of these tops. However, it's not going to be just a top. I am going to make this bad boy a beach a bathing suit cover up and I am going to make it maxi length. Well, I'm 5'3", so for me maxi length is probably cocktail dress for somebody else, but it's going to be long, long enough to probably just below my knees or just above my ankles. So when I go to the beach in the afternoons or if it's a cool day, I can always put my cover up and, um, and enjoy this pattern every time, everywhere. So... So guys, I think I've spoken long enough, and I've given you just about everything i got going on. I don't think I'm missing anything. The only thing I am missing is... A year of positive thinking. So let's see what we have in store for um, February 23rd. 23rd February it reads gratitude and perfection some days you feel like you failed at life because you haven't done it perfectly you said the thing you shouldn't have or you didn't do the one thing you should have when that happens consider this instead you are human and you're figuring out life with as much resilience and grace as you can muster you made it to another day because you are supposed to be here. And in the moments when the weight of your perceived imperfection feels especially heavy, practice gratitude. Say thank you for what you've done right. That's graciousness. That graciousness will shift every time. No, I'm sorry. That graciousness will shift everything because gratitude is reciprocal. Bestow it on yourself always. Be specially, but specially when you need it most. Wow, this is, this is absolutely um, so true. We are so hard on ourselves and we don't take time. We're so, we're so quick to thank everybody else and for things they do, but we don't take time to thank ourselves and be grateful for the things that we have done right and, and give ourselves credit for those things. We're sometimes so critical of ourselves and just think about the negative that we fail to see that in the midst of those few negative moments, there are tons of positive things that we've done, that we've made happen, that we've helped do, that we've impacted others with. So focus on those positives and never focus on the negatives. And I know sometimes it's, it's easier said than done but with baby steps and baby practices, I think that it is a mindset. It's a change in your mindset that eventually will continue to happen when you think about thinking about your blessings, thinking about the positive. And when things happen that are not so perfect, you know, sometimes there is a reason for them. And sometimes it's a learning. It's a learning experience that you can say, well, you know what? I didn't go my way, but... Overall, I learned something from it, and that is a positive thing. So, guys, I just wish for you a blessed day, a blessed week, if I don't talk to you later. Um, I love each and every one of you guys. Once again, thank you for being part of my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment if you can. And as I always close, peace from the Yarny Cave. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.